That's a lovely shot. First boundary of the day. Beautifully timed shot there by Graham Fowler. Half volley on the leg stump. He put it away to perfection. Good runs there. Beautiful shot by the time they allowed it to come on, clipped it away very firmly through mid wicket. And they've run exceptionally well. In fact, all four runs there to Chris Tavry. It's nicely played. They did the good position, steered it away to long leg. Again, they're coming back for the second, and again, it's close. Well, nicely, I'll give you a good long look, shakes his hand, and shakes his head. And well, that's a good looking shot. And that, uh, that big gap between cover and mid off. And it's a slight error, and this is uh, exceptionally good running that they've made three out of it. That away on the offside. So in vain. Looking to hit that direction mid off. Couple of Dev thinking no change is necessary yet. Continues himself and is beautifully put away through mid wicket by Tavre. Well, it was a lovely stroke again. That's going to be four more. Forty-eight for no wicket in the twelfth over. Getting that away through the gap on the offside. The outfield pretty quick. Four runs. Fifty up. A very promising start indeed for England. Over the top. Over the top of uh, Madden Lau at uh, Dietrich Midon for four runs. Not much, not much getting past the England bats this morning here at Old Trafford, but that one from Roger Binney. Well bowled, and he's out, thin edge, that was a good one. First success then for India, Roger Binney. Tamare gone for 32. So England better just by one run, the opening stand that they established against uh, Sri Lanka in the last game, with Chris Tamare out for 32. Two very good balls from Roger Binney, the second just finding the edge of Chris Tamare's back. A minimal deflection. But Kiermaier makes no mistake with the catch. Madanlal, Dagawa. No ball. And he's bowled him all over the place. Binney takes another wicket. And Fowler clean bowl for 33, leaving England now 84 for two in the 21st over. And looking at this again, you can see that bottom hand coming in. He plays all round this. Vinny just holding that one up, a very useful delivery. Pitch middle and off. And hit the off stump. It's Mutton Lull. very crisply off the back foot again by Gower straight to the uh, skipper at short extra slight worry about David Gower it's, uh, it's really looked a little bit too easy for him and one hopes he doesn't slip back into that uh, casual manner of a couple of years ago and there again that little uh, Lack of concentration on fields, little tentative prod forward. A 
And that's a bit useful too. Struck uh, much more firmly by uh, Lamb. So it was a half folly. Was wide of the off stump. It brings up the hundred. A satisfying position for England here, reaching 100 in the 25th over for the loss of just two wickets. And that's out. Yes, caught behind, uh, that little uh, slip shot again outside the off stump. Thicker shades, and this time Kamani moving away to his left. You could walk quite well, low down. And Gower goes. 107 for three. And there we go. Court Kamani, bowled down Manath for 17. And it's also interesting to note that it is now some 14 overs since England scored a boundary, and boundaries are what England need. I don't think Yashbal will get near, uh, Sandor will get near that. Getting, and Lam will have now, that's out! Lam has run out! Very, very quick thinking, a fine piece of cricket by Yashpal Sharma. The initial danger looked to be for Gatting going up the far end. But the danger was for Lamb coming down the other. So that's a very important wicket for India to get. Gatting never looking comfortable, crowd are going absolutely mad, the Indian camp over on the far side. What a fine spell by Amanath here, the wicket of Gar, now that of Gatting. Five down, 150, in the 42nd over. He's got three man push back on the lakeside boundary, feeling that at some stage uh, both might unwind. He's unwound in the reverse manner, that's the famed reverse sweep, which he middled quite comfortably and brings him two runs. That's a roar of applause from the crowd. This uh, ingenious little shot, which always seems to delight spectators. Ah, that's gone. Well, that turn just fractionally kept very low and both of us gone. He's bowled for six by Azad of England in real trouble here at 160 for six. Ball, I think, hit the stump about a foot high. And uh, poor old Ian both of us left high and dry. It's a little bit of tip and run at the moment. Joyful Indian section of the crowd. <laughs> oh, can he stun him? Would you believe it? He's stumped. What a terrible end there for Ian Gould. He's tried everything he knew to get out, caught behind. Sets off for an absolutely stupid run to the wicketkeeper who gently rolls it back and he goes stumped. Yes, Jim, I don't think there's any question he got a bottom edge on it. So I think he is ingloriously run out. And this bowling. Good delivery again from Kapildev. Cutting back in, might just afflict the pads. So Big Marks goes for eight. Big trouble for England at 177 for 8 in the 54th over. Vinita Dilly. There's a fortuitous inside edge for four runs. Oh, 
has given himself room and he's gone, caught a short third man, Patil takes a catch, another wicket to Kapildev and Alec goes, 202 for 9. Shout for LBW, but uh, rather fancy that was also going down the leg side. Osler, I believe, thought so too. And that's four runs, a thick edge this time. That's got to be wide this time, four wides. And that, uh, not a very intelligent delivery from the couple down. I think one knew entirely what was in his mind. He saw him uh, moving away to give himself room, tried to fire it in at his legs, but fired it uh, much too wide. The last ball of the day, Bob Willis's leg stump goes over. He's out for naught, and England are dismissed at the end of 60 overs for a score of 213. Not a lot for the England bowlers to play with, and the Indians could afford to pick and choose their scoring strokes. They started fairly carefully, and by the 10th over were 21 without losing a wicket. This is the point where we join Dilly, Burling to Srikanth. Tabaret do well to get that. Looks all right. Don't think Gavaskar quite timed it. Did not face in the shot for four more runs. Oh, by word, he's hit that right over the top of Willis at mid-off. Four handsome runs. That's the first really belligerent blow we've seen from this flashing stroke maker. Oh. And as soon as one says that, Gavaskar pushes out to Alec. Alec in his second over, took some stick in his first. And Gavaskar has nicked him down to Gould. Gavaskar gone for 25. In my word, it was a wicket that England badly wanted. 46 for one in the 14th over. Ian Bertham, second over to Sir Kant. And a long way on the leg side, four runs. And Bertham will have to get his line and length better than this. That's gone high, Willis is underneath it. He doesn't drop much. Oh, beautifully judged. Went up a long way. And Srikanth has perished as we thought he might, playing his natural game, and uh, I dare say that his captain will uh, have a word or two about that. Well, I don't know why he felt that that was the one to try to whack into the stands, but uh, I don't think the ball did anything in particular. For one moment, Marx was looking to catch it, and Bob Willis has obviously said, Mine! He stands out of the way while the captain comes across. And Bob Willis, if he gets somewhere near, has those great big hands, he drops very few. Through the gap this time, all right. Flipped away. Very coolly, very calmly through mid-wicket, and that goes for four. Pick marks now, bowling from a different end. Full pitch down to mid on, they might have to hurry. Out comes the stump. The umpire, Don Oslier, uh, David Evans rather, in perfect position. The dipping full toss hit firmly, a bit too firmly really, for the run to mid on. Mike Gatting. And touch and go. 
Come on, us. He's hit that high. And is it six? Has it cleared the rope? Yes, it has. Just in front of the side screen. Picked it up so easily. Beautifully executed. Sideways, nice straight swing of the bat. Yes, he got it away on the offside. Down on the chase. It'll be an unsuccessful one. 100 up. Nobody very interested, at least the batsmen and umpires are not interested. The fielder was very interested, going forward to claim the catch. And uh, a slight controversy going on at the minute. Derek Randall dives forward, is not certain he's caught it and immediately disclaims the catch. But David Gower, who was next to him, said he caught it. No question he caught it. Going for a big one, and he's fairly middle up. My word, he's given up everything he knew. It's six. And by Oslia, giving the signal. And a real cross butted swipe, in fact, there. India behind at this comparative rate, but they've got uh, eight wickets in hand. So Bob Willis into the attack to Yashpal Sharma. And that's a great shot, a magnificent shot, swung it over deep square like for six. Big Admiral Lynn Swinger, and Yashpal Sharma simply moved and helped it on its way. That's a good shot too, just as well they've moved that uh, square leg back onto the boundary. They're scurrying away for the second run and he's gone, he's run out. It's a marvellous throw coming in from uh, Paul Allardy out there. And uh, I'm now thinking, I think he was uh, home and dry. Suddenly realised he was in real trouble, put his head down, but couldn't beat that throw. So relief finally for England with a score at 142. With Armanath going run out for 46. So Armanath's had a good match. And that swung away again, the big lap through mid-wicket, not quite making six, but it's four more, and that's a very good 50 for Jasper Sharma. <laughs> 172 for three. Oh, my word, he thumped that one. Four down to the side screen. India are sailing home at the moment. And there's the next man in, Kapil Dev. What a moment it could be for him and for his whole side. Got that away on the leg side, four runs, square. India march past 200 to the joy of their supporters. It's in the air, it's down to third man, and it's a marvellous catch! My word, the local hero. That was a tremendous catch by Paul Allen. But much good, I fear, may it do England now. The ball skied high and look at Alex sprinting around that boundary. What a swift man he is for a fast bowler. Down he goes, gathers the ball, inches from the ground. He's had a wonderful day in the field, being instrumental in the Amanath run out when that return came in from the outfield. And now 
this marvellously agile catch dismissed the other major run scorer for India, Yashpal Sharma, for 61. Patil facing Bob Willis. Three runs wanted for India to reach the final. And that will be, I think, two. There's been an invasion, a premature invasion. They're out there a bit too early. Counting chickens not yet hatched. Yes, I don't think they're counting anything, Peter, because their arithmetic's very bad. They uh, can't add two to 211 and come up with 214. There we are. That's the England total. Two, one, three for four. The Indian reply in the 55th over. Bob Willis waiting for the field to be cleared. And we're almost set for what looks like being the last ball of this match. And I think it's going to be bowled to a fairly unorthodox field. Yet yeah, all on the offside and the quick escape route is planned. This I think we can confidently predict will be the last ball. And there can be no English recriminations. It will be a tremendous Indian victory. They've beaten West Indies, they've beaten Australia. He can hit it anywhere, that's it. Four runs off the edge. India are through to the final. What a great day for Indian cricket.